Hello. So today we are going to discuss the synthesis of phenylephrine, which is basically alpha adrenergic agonist. So the starting material for phenylephrine is 3 benzyl oxy benzyl dehyde. So we can call it as the benzyl ether because ether is a main functional group. So that has the formula R O R dash. So we can call it as a benzyl ether of benzyl dehyde. So this is the starting material that is 3 benzyl oxy benzyl dehyde. Now this reactant reacted with the ethyl bromoacetate, which we can call it as a haloester. Halo due to the presence of this halogen. So we can call it as a haloester. So when there is a reaction between this ether moiety or the reactant with this ethyl bromoacetate that will undergo the Reformatsky reaction. Now what is Reformatsky reaction? So it is an organic reaction specifically of either aldehydes or ketones with the haloesters or halo acids, which will give the beta hydroxy ester. So here in this product or the first structure rather, we, you can observe that ester functional group is present. So this adjacent carbon will be alpha and this will be beta. So at beta position, hydroxy group is present. So we can call it as a beta hydroxy ester. So this is the general, we can say the product of all the Reformatsky reaction. That is the reaction or the organic reaction of either aldehydes or ketones. So now in this case, aldehyde is present. That will be treated with the halo acids, which undergoes Reformatsky reaction, and that will ultimately produces beta hydroxy ester. So the name of this compound is ethyl 3, 3 benzyloxyphenyl, 3 hydroxy propanoid. Okay, so in short, that is the beta hydroxy ester. Now, when this same reaction or this same product undergoes reaction with the hydrazine hydrate. So specifically hydrazine hydrate is there. So there that will leads to the formation of hydrazide. So here, whatever the ester group is here, that will undergo treatment with or the reaction with the hydrazine so that that ester is converted into this amide moiety. So here you can observe that this moiety NH, NH2, it is coming from this hydrazine. So it's a specifically simply the reaction of this structure one with hydrazine that will give us hydrazide which will leads to the formation of hydrazide. Now, once this hydrazide has been formed, that will undergo treatment with the nitrous acid. It's HNO2, not HNO3, HNO2. So that is nitrous acid. So that will undergoes or that will shows the formation of intermediate specifically, we can call it as a isocyanate. The name of intermediate is isocyanate. That is N double bond C double bond O. So that is the formula for isocyanate. So hydrazide reacted with nitrous acid to produce the intermediate hydro isocyanate. Now this isocyanate is intermediate. So obviously that is unstable. So that will immediately undergo intramolecular rearrangement so that it will produce the heterocyclic molecule. So we can call it this molecule as a oxazolidine. Oxazoli. So that is oxazolidine. So that is the five member cyclic group. So isocyanate is the unstable intermediate that will immediately undergo intramolecular rearrangement to give us this heterocycle. Now the next step is that whatever the heterocycles we are getting that will be treated with the sodium hydride and methyl iodide. So sodium hydride is specifically base. So as the properties of bases, bases will abstract the proton. So now this base will abstract this proton that will take away this proton from this pentacyclic or the heterocyclic ring. And that after removal or after abstraction of this proton, then there will be the replacement of this CH3 moiety. So hydrogen of this heterocycle that is replaced by CH3. Right. So after this reaction, now we are getting in the heterocycle, uh, heterocycle ring, we have added CH3 moiety. Then ultimately, at last, when whatever this methyl moiety, after addition of this methyl moiety from this sodium hydride as well as methyl iodide, that will uh, treated with the strong or concentrated acid. So here H plus represent the reaction with the concentrated acid. And there is a cleavage of this oxazolidine heterocyclic ring. So that bond or that ring will get breakdown in this way. Right. So this moiety will get eliminated. Now just correlate. This is first carbon. This is second carbon. Nitrogen is there. CH3 is there. And at this first carbon, there is OH moiety. So just try to correlate. This first carbon OH is maintained. 
second carbon is there nh is there and ch3 is there simultaneously when there is a treatment with the concentrated acids so there will be the this bond will get break down o dealkylation and here we can observe oh so this is the structure or the final structure whatever we are getting from uh, all these uh, chemical reactions that is the structure of phenylephrine which is specifically alpha adrenergic agonist so let's revise again this is the main reactant is what that is the benzyl ether of benzyl dehyde because due to the structural similarity of ror dash right so this is our ether now this undergoes undergoes with the ethyl bromoacetate and that will show the reformatsky reaction always the reformatsky reaction give us the beta hydroxy ester so here that is our beta hydroxy ester now whatever beta hydroxy ester we are getting that will be treated with hydrazine so that hydrazide we are getting the next product we are getting hydrazide hydrazide on treatment with the nitrous acid that will produces the unstable intermediate that we are calling it as a isocyanate as it is intermediate so that immediately undergoes intramolecular rearrangement to give us the oxazolidine now this oxazolidine the first step is that as in the product we need ch3 so first we have to incorporate that ch3 so how we will incorporate that simply by the abstraction of this proton in presence of base and the addition of this methyl iodide so that hydrogen is replaced by this ch3 and at last there will be the decomposition or we can say the uh, reaction with the concentrated acids that will leads to the final product after this o dealkylation and the cleavage of this heterocycle so this is our final product phenylephrine that is alpha adrenergic agonist thank you